Good morning, Falcon fans. We are here with Stephanie Young, head coach of the Bowling Green State University women's golf team. And uh, the women's golf team is uh, about ready to kick off the spring portion of their schedule uh, as they head off tomorrow for South Carolina for the Low Country Intercollegiate. And uh, coach, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about the tournament uh, that you'll be playing in this weekend? Um, well, it's going to be uh, it'll be 18 holes each day, um, Sunday and Monday. So we'll we'll travel tomorrow and uh, get there Saturday for practice round. Um, we've not uh, been in this tournament uh, since I've been here and uh, we have our alum who's the director of golf so that will be helpful and uh, uh, we'll play the all the teams will play practice round Saturday and then the event starts Sunday Monday. So. Do you have any kind of familiarity at all with the course? We've just we've checked it out online and okay. and what we can see but we, we've not competed there yet. So. Okay. Now, uh, you've had uh, several months off uh, since the fall schedule, um, but uh, unlike previous years, uh, this winter has been uh, very unseasonably warm. And so uh, has that allowed you guys to uh, play outside any more than you normally would? Yes, uh, very much so. We, uh, we are competing a little later um, in, in the spring than we normally do because we wanted to add the, the low country uh, invite. Um, so... We actually, we've been able to play every single month. So the girls have obviously on their own, um, the ones that were around in December and, and January, um, they, they went out and uh, got a couple rounds in. Um, we also got maybe three, four rounds in in February, uh, which I don't, again, that's, that's a first since I've been here too. And um, then once uh, we've gotten back from spring break, um, we've been out every day. Uh, so that's certainly a huge boost um, and will be very uh, helpful. Now, um, obviously, the, the teams uh, that you'll be competing with, especially this weekend um, in the South, mm -hmm. uh, generally have an advantage. It's you know kind of like with uh, college baseball. They're just, because of the warmer weather in the South, they're able to get out and do things during the winter that uh, we're not able to here. So why don't you tell us what kind of advantages does uh, the change in the weather this winter give you going into this first tournament? Well, I, I mean, it's it's uh, it's obvious in the fact that being outside and be able to prepare on actual grass and and being able to get some rounds in under our belt before we get there, um, you know, undoubtedly, like that's that's going to help, no doubt. But um, I think our preparation has been very specific. Um, it's been very planned out, and these last eleven weeks um, since we started in January have been leading up to um, what we're about to about to embark on so we're we're confident in our preparation no we and obviously here um at bgsu we have a great indoor facility um mm -hmm. uh, underneath the stadium uh, but what would you say i mean are, are the primary differences between playing indoors mm -hmm. you know and simulating conditions rather than playing you know outdoors and in, in, in the real environment well i think you know um there's going to be you can't see your ball flight um, as often we, we hit indoors and our our place doesn't have uh, where the ball is going to be you know a bay and going hitting to the outside so um, but we also have a facility where we can go in and um, work on mechanics and then go out and see what the ball is doing flight wise and obviously with the weather again we've been able to do that as early as January and February this year um, where some years we don't don't get to do it till February or March so um, you know we're very grateful um, and thankful for the weather that we've been having and um, the girls have certainly taken an opportunity for that um, the other thing is the green you know greens um, a short game you just uh, you have to just really repetition them and a lot of practice log practice time um, and we can certainly do that and work on mechanics here but until you actually get outdoors um, you know that those are kind of two of the differences now uh, you'll have a uh, really action-packed month coming up uh the mac championships are actually only about a month away now um so you'll have several tournaments uh, in between uh, this first one and that uh including the uh, uh dolores black falcon invitational uh, why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about that coming up we've got uh we've got 13 teams uh that will be coming and you know very excited it's, uh it's ties our record um we've had three years um this being one of them that we've had uh 13 teams so we're really excited um the golf course is uh, really coming along. It's ahead of schedule, again, uh, attributed to the weather. And, um, 
you know, uh, it'll be a great, it'll be second annual for uh, the Dolores Black name to be on the Invitational, and so we're excited to honor Dolores again, and um, we're going to have a, an alumni gathering and uh, just kind of celebrate past, present, and future, and we're pretty big on that, and all three of those um, are what makes our program very strong, and um, so that's... We're looking forward to it. Now, what kind of things are you doing uh, with the MAC championships obviously being so close? Uh, what, what kind of things are, is the team doing now to prepare for that while they're preparing also for these other tournaments in between? I think, um, you know, we're, we're trying to practice like we want to play. Um, every day in practice, the mindset is that we're at that MAC championship or how can I leave today um, being a little bit more prepared for that event than I was when I showed up. Um, this is a very intense group. Um, this is a very we've kept some of the same things, but we've we've um, tweaked our preparations a little bit. And um, the girls are very um, they're very hungry. Um, and we all know, actually, four of our main goals um, are really going to play out um, kind of in the last three weeks of the season. So we have a big final exam um, being April and and being that that MAC championship. So um, you know it's. You know, every day we put in the work, and, and we'll, we'll get to the end when we get to the end. As far as some of the individual players go, where do you think uh, that they're at? Let's take you know, Bailey Arnold, uh, for sure. instance. Uh, where, where are they at as far as their preparation goes? Um, you know, I, I think we have, we have a plan collectively as a team uh, of things that we're working on, and then each of them individually have a plan that they've worked out, that we've worked out together for them, and, and that they have uh, laid out for themselves. So. There's a lot of plans, um, uh, a lot of strategies um, going on, and, and people are right where, you know, at this point, right where they need to be, or even further along than we expected, um, just because of the weather. Um, uh, we live and die on that. Kind of, this is these are the uh, wild card months, and it's certainly uh, coming up in our favor this this season. So. Well, that's great. Um, now, as far as the trip to South Carolina this week, and who. Uh, gets to uh, go along. Um, we'll have uh, Bailey Arnold at one, um, uh, being our leading scorer, and then uh, second will be Shelby Wilson, third will be Paula DeFrancesco, uh, four will be Amy Ruthenberg, and then uh, Patricia Holt okay. uh, will be in the, in the five spot. And again, you know, that's just how they started out, and then um, after that it's paired by school. Okay. Now, as far as Paula goes, uh, she is, of course, our only senior mm -hmm. uh, this year. How is uh, she handling things as she prepares for her final uh, few weeks uh, as a Falcon? She's, uh, she's as focused as I've ever seen her. Um, and when we, when we sat down to do her, her individual goals um, a couple, couple weeks ago, um, just a very, just, it's a very veteran plan. Um, it's, it's, uh, it starts out kind of in general terms of where she wants to be to start out the spring, and then it gets very specific as, as we move on towards the championship. So she is in no way showing signs of senioritis or antsy. Um, she is incredibly poised. Um, she is incredibly prepared. Um, and everything that she does is thoughtful and specific towards um, making this the best um, uh, half a season, sure. if you will, um, that she's ever had. and. Um, her work ethic, her um, contagious attitude has, has really um, permeated throughout the team. And um, I'm just really, really excited to see um, what she's going to do. And, and all of them are amped up to, to play at home, too. So. And, and as far as the uh, on the opposite end of the spectrum, uh, Shelby and Patricia, the two freshmen, how have they uh, handled this first year here on campus? Yeah, I think um, you know it's 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 nice to have a, a full year um, to to have our both seasons, you know, um, we they both had great falls, um, you know, traveled um, to every event. Shelby obviously on pace to have one of the best freshman uh, seasons here. Um, but I think it gave us a chance, the winter months gave us a chance to evaluate, okay, here's where you are, here's where we want to be, and what can we, we tweak and adjust. And we've certainly, um, it's, very, it's been very, uh, uh, it's been really good um, as far as um, identifying some things that we want to do do better, and um, I think that will only help them contribute to the team and, and be better um, individually as well. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Coach. Uh, good luck uh, this weekend in South Carolina, and I'm sure we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Matt.